Tutors teach seniors new high-tech tricks. Modern technology allows us to easily collect, connect with one another. People can instantaneously share photographs and have face-to-face -face conversations with friends and family, both down the street and on the other side of the world. However, technology changes so quickly that senior citizens are often left behind. A week after Christmas, many Americans are no doubt trying to figure out how to use the high-tech gadgets they got as gifts. This can be especially challenging for seniors. But a number of programs across the country are finding just the right experts to help usher old adults into the digital age. For Pamela Knorr of Bend Or, Oregon, the light bulb went off as she yet again was trying to help her own elder parents with a tech problem. To whom did she turn? My teenage kids, she said. Knorr happens to head the Oregon, the Central Oregon Council on Aging, and thus was born um, TECH, Teenager Elder Computer Health. I thought if my parents need it, probably other seniors need it too, she said. High school students studying computer tech or involved with the National Honor Society sign up to teach local senior citizens about Facebook, Skype, smartphones, and even something as surprisingly simple as a camera. Nor discovered that many seniors have been given digital cameras by their children. They were going around town taking all these great pictures that they wanted to send to their family members, she says, but they couldn't figure out how to connect the USB port or take out the SIM card. Many elders have moved to Central Oregon to retire. Sigrid Scully, 84, signed up for a tech class because she was struggling to stay connected with far-flung family. My kids were not returning calls, she said. They don't write letters. They are so knowledgeable about texting and email, and so I needed to get to know how to do that. Scully worried she'd never catch on. She'd read a computer manual once, but didn't understand words like icon or cookies. She says her teen tutor was personable and used plain language. So many teenagers think that seniors are just old people that don't know anything, she says. And actually, the camaraderie and knowledge that we can transmit to one another is so wonderful and so helpful, I had that feeling with this class. Sensitivity training. It has made me think about what life was like without Facebook and the internet, says 15-year-old Tucker Rampton, who's helped train about a dozen Oregon seniors. He's been surprised to have to explain email, something he thought everyone had mastered. Then again, a lot of seniors ask him about Twitter, which Rampton admits he knows nothing about. He says teaching tech to seniors has changed his perspective. I think it's a very good idea to work on your patience, he says, and to be more understanding when it comes to what's going on in their minds. At Pace University in New York, college students who tutor seniors in local retirement homes are prepped with sensitivity training. They get to feel what it's like to be 70, 80, or 90 years old, says Associate Professor Jean Capella, who directs the program. They were especially prepped gla prepared glasses that give them different visual impairments. Coppola also has students do things like tape two fingers together to stimulate the effect of arthritis or a stroke, and then try to navigate a mouse. By the time they're at a computer with the elder, she says, they're not frustrated at all. They'll say something a hundred times because they've worn cotton balls or earplugs in their ears, she says. They understand that they have to speak up and articulate their words. Coppola says the whole thing is a bonding experience for both generations. Applause often breaks out the first time a senior receives an email. Some have even been able to see new grandchildren for the first time through email photos. Pamela Knorr in Oregon says young trainers also gain new confidence. They see that seniors are not criticizing me for the way I dress, she says, or clucking their tongues. They're actually respecting me for the knowledge base that I have. Perhaps the most unexpected, some teen trainers and seniors have even become friends. They keep in touch long after the class ends, through Facebook, of course.